Hi, good evening. My name is Christina Williams and tonight's team training is specifically dedicated to the subject of sharing a SEER. So this is an associate training. If you're absolutely brand new or if you're looking at this and you really don't even know what the product is yet, this is not the training. Right now, I'm going to assume that you know how incredible this technology is. You're possibly already been using it or you're starting to use it and you are excited about developing an income stream, being part of the team, the pioneers that take this to the world and to be, a, to be somebody who becomes a specialist or somebody who uses this as a tool in their clinic, but somebody who really brings this to more and more people. Because right now, as breakthrough and as revolutionary as this is, there is still only a tiny, tiny percentage of people around the world that know about this technology. And that is a shame. That is an absolute shame because I know so many of you, even on this presentation, have had powerful breakthroughs. I personally have been witness to some incredible health transformations thanks to these amazing molecules. And I'm certainly committed to taking this to more people. The reason you might wanna do that can vary. You might be just wanting to share it with your friends to do good for them. You might be wanting to develop an entire lifestyle. So that's one of the first things we need to clarify because it's going to make a difference on how you share this and how much you put in. So let's jump straight into this PowerPoint. I've got a lot to cover. And as I mentioned, please don't try and write everything down. We will go fairly quickly, but you can pause this recording and look at it and pause it on the scripts that resonate with you. What I'm about to share with you is the way that I build the business and that our team builds the business. But that doesn't mean that this is the only way. If you're already getting results, stick with that. If you belong to a different team and they're teach, teaching something different, go with it. But here are some new ideas that are definitely working for our team and I hope that you can make them your own. All right, so the ABCs of sharing a CR. Firstly, firstly, as Malcolm would say, you really need to know why. There is a life out there for you, waiting for you, that is different to the life that you have today. Certainly my life three years ago did not include trips to Europe. My life three years ago was sweating over a business that was drowning, chasing clients, doing work that I didn't enjoy, frustrated because I couldn't get ahead. When I looked at this opportunity and when the penny dropped and I realized that this truly was an incredible product, I became so excited about what it could do for my family. And so I want you to become really excited and purpose driven because really this is going to be uh, the reason why you even bother sharing this with anybody else if you know why you're doing it. Your reason for developing an ASEA income stream and ASEA business needs to be personal. It needs to be specific. So you need to know exactly what you're after and when and it needs to be emotional. It can't be because you're chasing a new dishwasher or because you wanna buy a fancy new pair of shoes. It really needs to be something that moves you. For me, family is the pinnacle of everything. I wanted to offer my children better opportunities. I wanted to live a different life. I wanted to help my family. And so I remember going to Danny and to Malcolm and saying, please teach me how to build a business because I can see that this is a breakthrough and I wanna be part of it. So I hope that you're motivated and really clear on why you even wanna learn how to share this opportunity and this product. The first part after you know why you wanna do this is starting to really understand what you have on your hands. And of course, we need to know what it is not. This comes up in every conversation I have. A sea of redox really stands apart as an entire new frontier. It is not a food or a vitamin or a mineral or an antioxidant or a juice or an alkaline water. It is nothing like what you've seen on the market before. This is huge. This is really one of the main reasons I got involved. I could see it was a breakthrough. And what's more, I could see that this was the only company that had this breakthrough. I remember talking to a gentleman in Spain who was in the sunglass business quite successful, but I said to him, Nicholas, what is uh, your biggest challenge in business? And he said, competition. Someone's always making a, a, a cheaper sunglass or a fancier sunglass or something that's a little bit more um, um, trendy. So I'm constantly fighting against the competition. 
And I said to him, imagine if you were the only person in the world, like the first person to have designed the very first ever sunglass, your pair of sunglasses. And he kind of chuckled, but really guys, that is the positioning that we have with this technology. And our role is to simplify it. I know, I know that you're about to absolutely well up inside and just die a little bit if you're a biochemist, okay? Because I'm about to simplify this. But it is our job when we're communicating a SEER to totally simplify it. So if you love the detail, this is where you've got to just restrain yourself and understand that other people don't need the detail. They just need to know what it's going to do for them. So I've highlighted some words here of what is a SEER in the most simplistic way that I can explain it. It is the only product in the world that contains redox signaling molecules. And the only other place you can find them is inside your cells. They are biological messengers responsible for cell protection, repair and regeneration. Unfortunately, our molecules decline and now for the first time ever, we're able to supplement and trigger healing at its most foundational level, the cell. ASEA is validated by scientific studies and is being hailed as potentially the most significant health breakthrough of our time. Now, if you need to learn anything to explain what in the world you've got in your hands, this is it. This really sums it up. You can share what ASEA is by simply these words and then if they want more information, you connect them to a Zoom, you connect them to a specialist, but this is it really simply. Now, I don't mind if you practice it with yourself in the mirror or you practice it with your dog, but it's important that we have an answer and an understanding of what a seer is, even if it's very simple. I use this diagram, these five points, to mentally walk myself through what a redox signaling molecule is and explain what a seer is. So bear with me, I'm gonna go through them again. We're made of cells, not all cells are healthy, our cells are protecting, repairing, and replacing, happening all day long. The molecules doing this important work are called redox signaling molecules. We know this since very recently, 1998. How we also know that our levels are declining. And that's really, really sad, and it's leading to lots of problems and it leads down the natural process of aging. And ASEA, this incredible company in the US, are the first and the only in the world to breach this new frontier and give us a way to supplement. Very simple, right? One, two, three, four, five. Again, practice it on your kids, practice it on your dogs, but have a really simple understanding. And then if people need more information, at least you know you can cover the basics. I'm not gonna go through it again, but those are the five points and they'll be part of this PowerPoint if you wanna get a hold of it so that you can really walk your way through and explain it. Now, when I started sharing ASEA, I would hold uh, uh, images like this up and stand on the phone explaining it to people. And the reason I highlight those words are because I know they're the key phrases I need to get through and how I string them together can sometimes vary, but it's a really helpful way of being able to get through the all, all the information and not sound like you're reading. The important thing we want to get across is that we are at a new frontier. This isn't just a new cool new health product. This is a whole new category of science. This is a whole new breakthrough. So now, so next, you know, I mix next and now. There you go, new word. So next, you really need to decide what is there for your level of engagement. You know what you've got on your hands. You know what it can do for the world. You know what kind of business it can be for your family. But what are you going to do with it? We spoke about this at the beginning when we talked about goals. But aside from your goals and your dreams, I'd like to ask you, what are you going to put in every single day? Because that is going to... Um, reflect and match your goals and dreams, your outcomes you're chasing, or it's not. You know, early on in the piece, I remember going to Malcolm and saying to him, oh, Mal, you know, I'm really frustrated because my business isn't growing the way I want it to grow. This was very early on in the piece. And Mal's always been a really direct mentor. And he said to me, um, what business? <laughs> oh, uh, and I went, well, my ASEA business. He said, what do you mean 
business. He said, it's not a business. How many hours are you putting into it every day? And it really did strike me as true because what kind of a business could you fairly expect to pay you a six figure income unless you're engaged with it every single day? Now it may be one hour or two hours at the beginning. Eventually it may increase if you want it to, but you really need to pick what you want to put in because it's going to give you an idea of what you'll be able to get out. So you might at this point just be a consumer. You might choose to just be a member making an additional income, or you might choose that you want to change your lifestyle completely and be a global entrepreneur. What I love about this business, this is a picture I took from our little cabana in Cancun. Oh, uh, no, Puerto Peñasco in Mexico. And what I love is that it travels with you in a laptop. So once you decide to really make this a career, it gives you an incredible amount of freedom. I've never seen anything like it. The incomes that are possible, you would have seen through the income disclosure statement, uh, these ones here are in US dollars. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, we, you can have a look at the equivalent in, in Singaporean dollars and New Zealand dollars. The important thing is, once again, to pick your level of engagement because that's gonna give you what? an idea of how many people you need to bring into your team, which is then going to give you an idea of how many people you need to talk to. These are very important numbers. Once again, Mal, you know, he's always been very driven by the numbers and very good at giving us an idea. For example, if you want to generate a bronze income, you're really going to be looking at sponsoring around 20 people yourself and then helping some of those duplicate. I like targets. I like being able to sit down and say, you know what, we need $6,000 a month. We need $10,000 a month in order to live how we want to live. And then somebody in your upline will be able to tell you the level of input you need to put in and you've got a choice to make. Either you're going to do that level of work or you're going to adjust your goals. It's really simple. It's about being really mature business people and looking at this for what it is. So once you've established your level of engagement, once you know what you've got in your hands, you're gonna start getting this question. And this is a great opportunity. This is the most organic opportunity that you and I have in order to share what we do. People are gonna ask you, what do you do? So this is my answer, and it doesn't matter if your answer is the same, but you definitely need to have one. So if I'm asked what I do, I say I work with a US-based medical biotech, um, it's in a new field called redox signaling. We're bringing to market an important new technology. It has massive applications in medicine, longevity, and beauty. And my team and I are currently very focused with connecting with individuals in key markets who can really appreciate the opportunity of what this signifies and want to play a role with bringing it to market. I'd be so happy to give you more details. Um, so you can see that I never really read it. I just, I can't actually read it. It sounds inauthentic. But what I'm doing is having a template, picking out keywords, which I highlight for myself, and I move from there. But it's important that you have an answer to what do you do. It's also very important to have clarity of what you don't do. Please, we have an incredible product. We are absolutely at a new frontier. Do not cheapen what we do by misrepresenting our industry or our company. We are not selling, we are educating. Selling is when you constantly have to prove why your vitamin X or why your makeup or why your soap powder is better than the soap powder they can easily get at Coles. And you're constantly having to um, um, push your product forward in a noisy market, market space. There's nobody else that has a C or Redox, so you can relax. All you need to do is educate. Tell people what it is. They will want it, I promise you. We're not chasing, we are attracting. We are not pushing, absolutely not. We are resolving. Our role is to listen to people. What are the issues they're having, be it health issues or economic issues, and then understanding that you are a specialist in this field. You're not a doctor, but you can be a specialist in redox. And if you're not yet one, you can connect them to somebody who is. And it's very important to understand with your own posture that it, you are entitled to exude conviction. Be really certain about what you have in your hands, even if you're brand new. 
lean on the conviction of other people, talk to the leaders in this company, connect with other people through all the groups, look at the testimonies, borrow the certainty of others until yours catches up. Because I promise you, after a few months or years of seeing what this product does in people's lives, your conviction will be up there as well. What you and I are, we are specialists in this field, we are visionaries, and for sure, we are entrepreneurs. All right, so now we're gonna to go to the actual heavy lifting, which is what you say. I get this question so much. People say, you know, I would tell people, I, I would definitely share this with people, but I just get stuck. I don't know what to say. And by the way, the other thing I get a lot of, yes, but who do you talk to? And I just wanna address this because it really is baffling that in a world that contains 77 billion people, most of which are connected to numerous apps, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, most of which, you know, you have hundreds of phone numbers on your phone, sometimes thousands of emails in your, um, in your mail server. It's incredible that you'll still have people say to you, but I don't know anybody. And unless they've just landed in from Mars, and they've been away for 20 years, I really know that we all know somebody. What we're doing is we're prejudging. We're thinking that the people we know maybe won't want to know about this. But isn't that just a slightly a little bit presumptuous? I really think we need to put this in front of people and allow them to make a decision. You've just got to find a comfortable, a good, a nice way to do it. But really, we all have access to hundreds and hundreds of people and people that we are able to also meet every single day across so many networking platforms. And once the world opens up again, we can go back to connecting, not only just through the digital landscape, but also face to face. There isn't a shortage of people, I promise you. And one test for this that I can give you is, if I said to you, meet me next Monday, bring a list of names, phone numbers, or names and emails, and for each one of them, I'm going to pay you $1,000 and it doesn't matter who they are, and I will literally pay you $1,000 for each one of them, please don't tell me you would show up with a list with three names on them. I'm sure we would each bring a long list. So the names are there, just don't prejudge. Okay, now who do we talk to about their health? I talk to anybody who has a health condition. Anybody who's currently suffering, we're not gonna approach them about the business. We're not going to approach them about the opportunity we're going to really connect with them about what their highest priority is, which is most likely their health. So what do you say for somebody struggling with their health? Hi, Ben. I, I really hope you don't mind me reaching out to you, but I was so saddened to hear about your struggle with arthritis. Now, this is a training, so I'm going to throw health names in there but we do not do this in a public forum. We don't make claims about this product. It's very, very important. But of course, if he has arthritis, you're able to mention that that's the reason you're reaching out to him. And I want to share something that could be a great help. Now, as I never make any promises, I say could be a great help. I've recently come across a biomedical company that specializes in a new field called redox signaling. I'll often ask them, Ben, have you actually heard of that before? And 99.99, he's going to say, no, never heard of it. I say, look, that's fine, need a head eye. But a lab in Utah has been able to replicate a molecule that actually causes, uh, that is the trigger behind repair or healing in our cells. And they're having wonderful results with other people with whatever their health condition is. Now, I'm not making direct claims about the product. What I'm saying is that a company has replicated the redox molecules. And we know a lot about redox molecules. They are actually the biological messenger that works at your cells, at your cellular level to cause repair. So I say that. And then I just simply ask them, would you like me to send you some info? Or Ben, I was really thinking I'd love to connect you with my friend Malcolm, who's a specialist. Would that be okay? So just keep it human, keep it real, keep it caring. And, um, and make it about an outcome for them. More on that later. Now, if you're wanting to talk to somebody about business, this is an example of a script. Important to note, anybody that is not an immediate candidate to be approached about their health, everybody else is a candidate to be approached about the business. Why? 
because we live in a world where uh, I, I'm sorry if you say that money's not important, but it's everything costs money. The kids' education costs money. Holidays cost money. Being able to donate to charity costs money. Good healthcare costs money. So it's not that money is important. It's certainly not important to me. Money's just numbers. But what is important to me is being able to have options for my family of all those things I've just mentioned. So there isn't another person out there. I mean, that I, I haven't met someone who wouldn't like to increase their income. I've met plenty of people who don't want to do anything about it. But most people, if you gave them $100, they would take it. So everybody's a candidate to at least be offered the question, would you like to make an additional income stream? And then they can decide for themselves if they want to or not. But here's a sample script. And how have you been? I hope you don't mind me reaching out to you, but I wanted to pass on some information that could be really valuable to you and your family. Now, I would usually specify why. I might say, I want to pass on some information that could be really valuable to you as a physio. Or really wanted to pass on some information that could be really valuable to you in, at the gym or as a yoga teacher or as a businesswoman or as a mum. So I want to make it, I want to tell her why I'm calling her. Then I tell her what it is. I've recently made, a, um, I've recently made an important move in my professional direction and I'm working with a US-based medical team and they're bringing to market a genuine breakthrough in cell health. This product is a massive advancement for medicine, longevity, sports, and beauty. It's so powerful and first of its kind, there isn't even a competitor. Um, they're fully capitalized and we're not looking for investor. However, my team and I, we're so keen on connecting with influential individuals right there in Atlanta who may wish to play a role helping us open distribution channels or helping us bringing it to market. I'll probably specialize the content right there a little bit more for her. I'll say something like, my team and I are so interested in connecting with physios there in Melbourne. Or my team and I are really interested uh, to connect with other business people in New York. So I want to narrow it in so that she knows why me and her are having that conversation. And then of course, we go to the famous question, which really sorts out their motive, if they might be motivated or not which is, do you mind, Anne, are you and Jerry open to additional income streams at this time? And they're either gonna say yes, yes or no. And guess what? At the moment, the way the, the world is and the way the economy is heading, even post this virus, I'm finding that the number of people open to additional income streams has just skyrocketed. I don't have enough spots in my week to get through the amount of people wanting to have conversations. Everybody's got time and everybody is scrambling to secure their financial position. So this is the right time, guys, to be able to come in with a solution rather than just gossip or bad news. You've got a solution to share. Okay, so we move forward to something that's super important and that's the three-way call. What is a three-way call? A three-way call is really where the magic happens. The people growing the fastest are using three-way calls, I promise you. It may feel a little bit strange at the beginning because you've never done this sort of thing before, but it works. A three-way call allows you to just be the connector. The person that makes an introduction means you don't need to be a specialist. You don't need to know how to handle objections or answer questions or be a product specialist. Literally from day one, you can start growing by simply learning a very simple script, which I'll give you in a minute, on how to connect your prospects with a specialist in your upline team. A three-way call is going to create posture and edification. You know what? Your friends, your sister-in-law probably will not understand why you are suddenly overnight a cellular health specialist or why you, who might have been an accountant for 40 years, suddenly interested in cellular health. You know, they'll just, it just, it's very difficult sometimes to make that transition. But if you introduce an expert, if you introduce a Dan Doyle, you know, then you really don't, doesn't matter. You don't have to be anything. You're mainly making an introduction and that's very simple to do. And that introduction is reliant on trust. Your expert, your upline is going to offer you edification. They're going to talk about you and the team. And now there's an inbuilt 
cycle in there which allows you to lean on the expertise and create easy duplication. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so let's say that I'm calling, um, that I'm calling uh, Mary and Julie is the expert. So I'll say, and I can do this on a text, I can do this on a phone call, email is okay but it's not great. If you can do it on a phone call, much, much better. If you can do it on a voice message on WhatsApp, it's still pretty, pretty good. And if you don't have the ability to call them, Messenger on Facebook or text is still all right. So I'd be saying, hi, Mary. Gosh, I realized it's been ages since we saw each other, but I've come across something so significant, I thought of you immediately. So don't stress out if you haven't spoken to them for a long time. Just tell them it's been a long time since you spoke and then you can move right past it. A friend of mine, Julie, is a specialist in a really progressive new field of cell health. Her company have developed a heavily patented breakthrough health technology with applications across longevity, disease, beauty, and athletic performance. Now, I might tailor that a little bit. If Mary is a, a gym instructor, I'll just say the, the company that Julie works with have developed a heavily patented breakthrough with massive applications in fitness and, and athletic performance. So I'll make it more relevant to her. Anyway, what they've done is they've actually been able to replicate the molecule that is a trigger for cell repair and regeneration. Can you imagine? I mean, it's been hailed as one of the most important breakthroughs of our time. So as I said, it's a new category creator. It's got all the science validation, nothing on the market like it right now. They're not looking for investors, Mary. They're fully capitalized. But what they're wanting to do is connect with individuals with a level of influence in the fitness industry. And people who straight up will recognize the commercial potential of this and want to play a part. So I thought of you, Mary, immediately, as I said, now I'm going to offer her a reason. I thought of you immediately because I love how progressive you are at the gym there and you're always looking for ways to give back to your clientele and I thought you'd probably also appreciate a way of creating an additional income stream for the gym. I'd love to introduce you to Christina so she can tell you more about it. Are you happy if I introduce you guys to each other? So once again, I can't read and I really hope you can't. All you need is a template, a text, and then bring it to life. Highlight the words that ring true for you. I've repeated myself a bunch of times in there. You couldn't possibly read through it. It'd be awful. You've got to make it personal for the person. And if you're texting, please, for the love of God, make it shorter. If you're talking, you can get through about this kind of length. The important things to highlight is that you've thought about them immediately. Tell them why. Tell them what it is. It's a breakthrough health technology. Why it's relevant to them. Tell them then, as the last thing, what they can get out of it. They can give back to their clients. They can create an additional income stream for the gym. And then, of course, as a leader, our job is to then lead them to the next step. The three-way is just you being a signpost. You're not a specialist. You're a signpost saying, wow, you really need to talk to Christina. You really need to talk to Julie. So in this script, I've obviously started with Julie as the specialist and, and then it's Christina in the end. So I'm sorry, you really need to figure out who you're working with and you're a signpost towards that person. Okay. So once again, I want to go over this. People only care about three things in your phone call. doesn't matter what you say, but you've got to cover these three things. Why is she calling me? Why is he calling me? So tell them, I'm calling you. I thought of you immediately because you've got... Um, because you're in Atlanta. I thought of you immediately because you're such a well-connected business person. I thought of you immediately because I know you're still suffering with arthritis. Give them a reason. What is it? Breakthrough cellular health technology, heavily patented, new category creator, triggering repair down at the cell level, nothing like it on the market. What's in it for me? I thought of you straight away because I know how progressive you are at the clinic and I knew that you'd probably be open at this time right now to look at additional income streams. Or I thought of you because I've seen other people get great results with arthritis and gee whiz, if it could offer you a way of getting, of reducing your pain, I would just be thrilled. So go in genuinely. I love this little, these three points because it forces you to think about your prospect. And that's something we really need to be doing when we're connecting with people, please. It's not about you. You're, you've got in this phone call the ability to change their life. 
And that's not uh, about putting pressure on you, but that's just so you learn to take the eyes off yourself and realize either way, I'm in. I've already in a SIA, it's already changed my life. You're already in a SIA, it's changing your life. But for this person, what can they get out of it? And that's what our job is. It's our job to highlight that. Okay, so we've done plenty of examples, but I'm gonna just wrap this section up with two. Right, we're doing those three things. John, how are you? Hope you're keeping safe. I wanted to reach out to you because I know it's a tough town in the economy and many are looking for additional income streams. Then I tell them about the product and I wind up by saying we're looking for people who are open to an additional income stream and being part of a supportive team. It's a business that can be developed online and from home and it requires no capital. John, would you be open to having a book? Okay, that's one example of bringing to life those three points. Why you're calling them, what it is, and what can they get out of it? Mary, I hope your family are well during this time. I wanted to reach out to you because you're in the health industry there in Spain. Tell them about the product, tell them about the breakthrough, and then you wrap up with what it is that they can get out of you. They can get out of the uh, opportunity. I thought of you immediately and I wanted to check if you'd be open to new tools for your clinic and new opportunities for your clinic or new income streams for your clinic. Once again, you've got to wrap up your uh, um, invitation by offering them a really clear reason, a really clear little taste of what they can get out of it. It's what they, that's what everybody cares about. And the way we convey that is by using language like, the reason I thought of you, oh, I'm so excited to share this with you because I believe that you, the next step that I propose is, what I'd love to do is, would you please allow me to? This language is genuine, you know. I don't believe in strategies. I'm giving you phrases and words and things, but, but overall, I want you to just be genuine. When you're sharing with this with people, really get it into your heart. What can this do for that person? My goodness, it can give them back their help. My goodness, it can stop, uh, it can bring that mum home so she can be at home with her kids. My goodness, they can travel the world, they can get. Um, they can stop worrying about money. They can get the, the upgrade to the house that they wanted. You know, so um, when I share, I share with love. I really do. Although sometimes I get tired and what have you, but this is really a good way to keep your compass pure and to keep the eyes off yourself. So this is the cycle. First touch, okay? Initially, we're going to go for a quick text or a quick call. If you haven't spoken for, uh, for a long time with someone, it's totally fine before you send them the big spiel to just say, Jenny, are you home tomorrow? I wanna ring you about something really important. So if you wanna warm up someone that's been a cold lead or someone you haven't spoken to or you went to high school with them, you feel free to send them a little text message or just briefly say, uh, I haven't got time right now, but I'd love to catch you tomorrow on a Zoom or I'd like to call you tomorrow or I'd like to invite you tomorrow, but just touch base, first touch, is just really to connect, okay? So you don't have to give anybody any information. Sometimes we just need that first touch. Are you home tomorrow? I've got something really important to run by you. Number two, get the information out to them, okay? So the next, uh, the next uh, phase is that text that we just went through. So step two, once I've got them on the phone or once we've had a chance to connect face-to-face -face or on a Zoom, I'm going to go through, Jenny, the reason I wanted to talk to you is because I, I thought of you because you've got the gym, I've got this great technology, I've got access to a specialist, whatever it is that you're going to say as part of your, um, your approach, as part of your uh, information uh, that you're going to, um, your, your script that you're going to use, this is the moment where you get through it and the aim of this is to give them information to review. So when you, when you start making phone calls or when you start sending out messages or when you're reaching out to people every day, release, release yourself from the stress of having to achieve an outcome straight away. It's not how it's done. The first part is just to get information out to them. And the information, in my opinion, should not take them any more than 15 minutes to review. I let them know that. So if I've gone through a script and I've told Jenny that I really think this will be uh, um, important information, uh, it can really be an incredible tool for her clinic as a physio 
and it might even be a wonderful additional income stream, I'll say, Jenny, what I'd love to do is to shoot you a couple of links to review. And if you like the look of those, we'll move forward. I'll connect you with a specialist or I'll invite you to a webinar. Okay, that's going to be step three. Now, if you've got a really good relationship with someone, you might be able to go straight to step three. For example, it's your best friend. You guys get along so well. You could probably call them an hour before the webinar and say, Jenny, are you free in an hour? I really want you to jump on this thing. It's a webinar about a technology. I've just had a look at it. It's really incredible. I think there could be a great opportunity for us on here. Jump on, I'll chat to you after. But if there isn't a relationship, I really recommend that you build into it with a quick touch first, get them to review a couple of links, let them know it'll only take them 15 minutes to check them out. You'll be back to them tomorrow or you'll be back with them on Thursday or whenever it is that you've agreed to get back to them and then you can proceed to a more detailed one-on-one, -on -one, a three-way or a webinar. And then step number four, of course, is getting a decision. Either way is absolutely fine, but for me, I find that these are really this is a really simple cycle to go through, okay? Okay, getting close to the end, guys. I hope you're still with me, hanging in there. Keys to a great follow-up. You, you can do so well, you can do an amazing job at reaching out to people, sending messages, connecting, and then if you don't do the follow-up, you really are just gonna, it's, it'll be like water just sliding off your hands people that could have made a decision, you'll miss them because we didn't give them a chance to make a decision. So keys to a great follower. Firstly, do one. Set it up already during the first conversation. I've just covered that right then, but let me recap. If I'm sending you two links, I'll say, Jenny, I'm about to shoot you two links, okay? I'm texting them to you now. I do text if I can, it's preferable to do text rather than email because you know they've got it in their phone, right? So I'm texting you these two links. They're gonna take about 15 minutes to review. Um, do you think you have time to check them out before tomorrow afternoon? Now she's either gonna say yes or no. She says, no, tomorrow's crazy. And I'll say, okay, I'll call you the day after. About 9 a.m., would that work? Great, I'm setting up the follow-up already. If she says, yeah, sure, I'll have a look at them before then. She's made a commitment. And then when you phone at the agreed time to follow up, you're not being a pest, you're actually being efficient, you're being professional. So I'll say, okay, cool, yeah, check, check the videos out tomorrow, and then I'll call you Thursday at nine. And um, what I'll try and do then is just answer any questions that you've got and, uh, and decide what a good next step would be from you from there. That's the kind of language I use. Now, when I get them on the phone, we chat a little bit about what they saw, and this is a really good question to ask, to sort out what they wanna do next. So I'll say, John, so from, from the little video you've seen and the, the chat we've had, with what you're looking at, are you seeing yourself more interested in the health benefits or are you, you think you'd also consider the opportunity to, to make an income? Very straightforward question and it really sifts them out for you. A lot of the time they're gonna say, you know what, I'm still, I'm probably interested in both to be honest. I wouldn't mind trying it, and if that goes well, I'd be interested in looking at the income. Okay, and then it's our job to lead them forward, have a clear plan for what's next. If they say to you, you know what, I think I just wanna start using the product, fantastic. All right, let's make a time to get your account open, and then you move forward from there. Or if they wanna, uh, they wanna talk about generating income, that's great, let's open your account, let's get you on the product, and then let's plan a session where we can do some training, we can do some planning, and the aim of those sessions are gonna be mainly to find out what they want to achieve. Okay, moving right along, some, some key tips for sharing a CS successfully. Please relax, you really have something that, you, you don't have to scream loudly, we are in a space of our own, we're the only company in the world with this breakthrough. You are some of the few people, this elite tiny percentage who know about this product. I absolutely am certain because even in the short time I've been involved, I'm certain that this will be mainstream. I've seen the buildup in the last three years as more and more people start to adopt this technology, as it pops up in the media, health magazines, other products that claim it'll help boost your redox, but we're the only ones that have redox in a bottle, in a gel. So chill out, you really have something so powerful, you just need to share it with enough people 
and build your business. No different to any business. If you were setting up a shoe shop or you were setting up to, be, to do pizzerias online or to sell fashion handbags, it all just comes to connecting with people who need you, who want you and creating volume. And what your job and my job is, is to bring that to their doorstep in a package that entices them because it's about what ASEA can do for them. And hopefully you can see that those scripts I've put forward are really about the end user. They're not about you. They're really about what this can do for them. Okay, handling objections. You're really not gonna have many if you are covering them, if you are uh, uh, using those scripts and covering the information properly up front. But I wanna, I wanna tell you this, because it's happened to me. If you're getting the same objection all the time, sometimes it's because we're projecting it. You know something that's funny, when I started building a SEA, um, I, I had very little spare money. I was really economically just struggling. And so I just thought, oh my gosh, the product is this expensive. Actually, it's not because like if you go and get stem cell therapy, you're, play, you're paying $8,000 for a treatment and we can rejuvenate your cells with a $50 bottle, you know. So really it's not expensive at all. But I used to get a lot of objections about the price at the beginning. And you know what? It was because I was kind of all apologetic about it. It's like I wasn't giving it the value and really deep down, I was struggling economically so badly, I just assumed everybody else was. The reality is that people spend $300 on a skincare, uh, on a skin cream at the airport, that people go and get treatments for their, for their face, that people invest in their health. We are very well priced. So what I'm trying to say is that be careful if you're getting an objection all the time, the source it's normally coming from is us. Okay, how do we reduce objections? Again, establish your own personal confidence because it's usually coming from within. Cover your most common objections in your delivery. You know, people say to me, well, how do you cover that? It, you know, how do you respond when they go, oh my gosh, it's network marketing. Nobody does that to me. Literally nobody goes, what? Whoa, it's network marketing. You know why? Because I tell them, absolutely tell them. In my very first conversation, I tell them what the breakthrough is. I tell them that we, we made a strategic decision not to go through the pharmaceutical avenue, not to put this on the, on the shelf at, at Coles and Walmart because who's going to buy something they've never, they don't even know what it is, right? You don't put Redox on your shopping list. So we made a strategic decision to go down the direct sales model and we're so lucky to be part of this network marketing industry because it allows us to blah, 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 blah. And I highlight the benefits. So I've told them, therefore, it's not a surprise, it's not an objection. And remember what I said before, focus on other people's goals. And if you're not constantly talking about redox and the product and, and, and talking molecules and biochemistry, um, and you're focusing on people, you're going to get less objections because guess what their favorite topic is? Themselves. And the final way to really just let go of objections is to do enough volume. The more you do, the less any one outcome matters. I know that for me to reach my next goal, there is a volume of work I need to do, and I'm excited when I can pump through some of it and move forward towards my goals every day. I'm not attached to any one outcome. Any outcome only matters if it's the last time you're going to share this. Outcomes only matter if you're only going to do this for a week. You know what, otherwise, if you're actually committed to building a business, no, the opinion of one person really is not relevant to your larger objective. And remember, we have validation behind the product in the way it studies, the bioanalysis, the manufacturing process, thousands of testimonies. The company is well validated. All you've got to do is go look at the numbers, of the growth behind this company, who, uh, who, it would have envious, so many companies would have envy to see we've been growing at this rate of 56% for the last two years and we're now going into our third year of that level of growth. We've just done our largest month in March. We are forecast to be a billion dollar company in the next three to five years and you're part of that. So you don't need to apologize for it, be proud. And of course, there's industry validation. The network marketing industry, whether people like it or not, is in more than 100 countries worldwide and does an excess of 167 
billion in retail sales globally. You may not know this, but it is literally the highest paying profession in the world, second to professional sports. What I earn now from a CR after two and a half years, I'd have to be a, a plastic surgeon working goodness knows what hours to be matching this income. And yet, as a mum of four, I can do it from home in my pyjamas. You know, really, it's wild when you think about it. Okay, some final thoughts. How are we going for time? Okay, cool. We're just about done, guys. My final thoughts to you are, we have an incredible product matched with a sensational opportunity where you and I can make a lifestyle out of it if we want to. Matched with wonderful culture. Some of you on this call may not have had the opportunity yet to get to know Tyler Norton and the ASEA corporate team or even the leaders in this organization. But this company attracts good people, visionaries, entrepreneurs, people of influence. It just seems to be that we have the perfect storm. Great people, great product, great opportunity. It is a moment in time that I know we will talk about it. It's a reason why I got involved. I remember seeing Malcolm and Danny get started and Laureen and Julie get started and thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to watch this happen and I'm going to be left behind. I just can't even stand, you know, the fear of missing out. And I'm so glad that I engaged because Redox is the future of so many, um, is being hailed as the future of so many different fields uh, of health uh, and medicine, and we're the only ones right now, we're the first onto the playing field, and that is a serious advantage. And that doesn't mean that there aren't things you need to learn. Yes, you will need to upskill. Yes, you might not like everything about it. That's the wrong question. The right question is, what do I need to learn? What do I need to change in me in order to get where I wanna be? I have definitely had to adjust. I've definitely had to learn. And it's actually really, really exciting because I would not want to be the same person in 10 years that I am now. I hope that I'm growing every day. I hope that I'm becoming better value to my team, to my family. You know, I want to be growing. And this opportunity gives us the chance to grow and to learn. And that's why we talk about investing two hours a day, at least. If you're serious, as a builder, that is our recommendation. Invest two hours a day, one to your personal development, whether you're attending a workshop or reading an audible, uh, listening to an audible or reading a book, you want to be growing because as you grow, as you become more, your life expands, your value expands and your life expands. So one hour a day to your own personal and professional advancement is essential for a serious builder. And then at least one hour a day dedicated to connecting with other people because really that's the way we grow. That's, that's, the, that's the sharp edge of the sword. That's really where the action happens. Okay, I just, I just mentioned this. Personal and professional development, it's going to keep you sharp, clarifying your vision, increasing your skills and keeping you focused. And how quickly life can change. I wanna leave you with these thoughts because I know that sometimes you might be listening to this presentation you think okay cool i can maybe adopt a few things that this crazy girl has said but you still at the end of the day might have some hesitations might have some fear and i want to tell you that's absolutely okay it really is okay i promise you i still have to you know when i'm making a phone call i still sometimes get nervous mostly i don't now but sometimes i still go oh gosh christina like why are you why are you worried and then I adjust my thinking instead of focusing on myself and, my, and why I'm worried, I think how quickly this person's life can change that I'm about to call and how quickly my life can continue to change. Because when I started, I wanna leave you with this. Easter, three years ago, I took my boys to this place on the Gold Coast, right? I looked up the motel. We all slept in one room, paid $70 a night. And that was a, that was a stretch. It's crazy, actually. That was only three years ago. And no, the place is fine. But for me, that was a weekend. I think it was two or three nights. I remember it financially being a stretch for me to go there. And thanks to this wonderful opportunity, 
thanks to knowing why you're doing it, our life has changed very, very quickly. And I want you to put yourself in some pictures because when you're out there reaching out to people, when you're out there contacting, working with new people, reaching out to people, and you're thinking, oh, why do I want to do this? Why do I want to connect? Why do I want to share this technology? You want to have an answer and you want to be clear. You want to be clear just how quickly your life can change. In that first year of sharing this opportunity, it really has transformed our life. The boys have been able to go and, and holiday. Um, well, as a family, we've gone to Fiji, we've gone to Mexico a number of times, took the kids to Disneyland, which had been a dream. Uh, they've been through the United States, up at the Grand Canyon and Sedona. And put yourself, I mean, this is my family. I, I, I can't really tell you anybody else's story, but mine. But put yourself in the place of where you want to be in 12 months time and two and three years time. Because sharing this opportunity enough times is the only thing that stands between you and a whole lot of photos of wherever you want to be. It has, uh, this company has given us the chance to really travel the world, to be able to work from anywhere, to meet friends. This is my favorite part, to make new friends. I love, I love so many of the people we have connected with. They're like family. I have family in France, family in Spain, family in Singapore and Kuala Lumpur, people I absolutely love. We've had fun in Las Vegas. We have fun in the Caribbean. You know, I look at these faces and they're, they're not prospects. They're not team members, they're family members. And I know how their lives have changed. Some of them, it's been about their health. Some of them, it's been about their finances, but lives get changed thanks to this company. You'll have the ability to be recognized and appreciated. You'll have the ability to work from anywhere in the world and have a certain amount of freedom that no other career that I know of can give you. And it's not just me. You know, you can go and, and look at our Facebook pages of all our team members. And by golly, our team is all around the world sharing this important message, everybody in their own way. But we're all doing one thing. We're all sharing this great breakthrough whether it is to improve someone's health or improve someone's finances. And what I'd like to leave you with is what will you do with this opportunity? It's already been very, very good for so many people and it can be extremely good for you if you share it. It's important to know why, isn't it, right? There's a lot of scripts there, there's a lot of information, but none of it matters if you don't know why you're gonna get up tomorrow and put this in front of somebody else. Your life can change very quickly it's not on trial anymore. The product works, you know it. The opportunity works, you can see it. Now it really is, will you work? Will you get up tomorrow and continue bringing this breakthrough to the world? Okay, so that takes us to the end of the presentation and thank you so much for, for hanging in there for those of you that did. It looks like most of you did. Uh, I know it's been a long presentation, lots of info. Okay, so who have we got? Any, any questions? Let me turn off the recording and let's see if anybody has any questions. 